Let's first create an array, an array of rectangles, or to be more precise, an array that includes references for objects instantiated from the class rectangle. Okay, I believe four rectangles would be enough. Uh, this is the class rectangle, a very simple one. Now, once we create the array, we can iterate using the for each loop. Uh, the syntax uh, still use the word for, but within the, the brackets we place um, a declaration for a temporary variable the type should be uh, in according with the type of the object we want to iterate and then we should specify the reference for the array the array that includes references for rectangle objects now what we get here is a loop that iterate the rectangles each iteration rec is assigned with a reference for a specific rectangle object so when the loop starts uh, we first get into rec the reference for this object and then the next iteration we get the reference for this object and so on so let's try to execute this code So let's execute this code. So let's execute this code. And here is the output. Now we could use the for each loop to iterate uh, rectangles we have in a collection. It doesn't have to be um, an array of rectangles. So, for instance, if I use um, in a collection, let's say, an object instanti instantiated from the array list class let's just add the import statement and this array let's say it holds references for rectangle objects it is very simple to add those rectangles we can easily iterate those rectangles Instead of using a, an array, we use a, an array list object, an object that holds references for uh, rectangle objects. And here, each iteration rec is assigned with the reference for a specific rectangle object. Let's see how does it work. Just as before, 
Each iteration rec is assigned with is assigned with a reference for the next rectangle.